We're now going to solve the quantum harmonic oscillator in a completely different way uh, using what's called the operator approach. So we can use the A plus or minus operators for a really clever solution. Why do we have another way? Uh, it's not as dirty um, and it's going to help us solve other problems in the future. So let's go back to uh, summarize what we learned about raising and lowering operators. So A hat plus or minus is 1 over the square root of 2 h bar m omega plus or minus p hat over i plus m omega x hat. And these raising and lowering operators don't commute. In particular, their commutation relation is just equal to 1. Uh, also recall that the Hamiltonian for the harmonic oscillator can be written in these raising and lowering operators as h bar omega a plus a minus plus 1 half or switching the order, h bar omega a minus a plus minus 1 half. So this could be useful for us. Okay, so let's suppose, here's how we start. Let's suppose psi twiddle, just to call it something different, is a solution to the Schrodinger's equation with some energy e twiddle. Um, now, I'm just supposing this. I'm just guessing that there is such a solution. This is, at the moment, very wishful thinking. Uh, uh, we don't really have a solution at the moment. We don't know what solutions look like. Um, we're just imagining this. Um, so it's just a place for us to start. Uh, and then we'll see where it gets us. So let's just imagine such a solution exists. So h hat psi twiddle is e twiddle psi twiddle. That's what we mean by it having a solution to the Schrodinger's equation with some particular energy. It's an uh, eigenfunction of the energy of the Hamiltonian operator. So is a plus psi twiddle also a solution to the Schrodinger's equation? It seems like an odd question, and you could probably guess by the fact that I'm asking the question that it is. Um, but let's see what happens. So let's take h hat a plus psi twiddle. So h, the Hamiltonian, is this combination. So we're going to insert it there. So we have h bar omega a plus a minus plus one half times a plus psi twiddle. OK, let's distribute this through uh, so that hopefully things look a little nicer. So we have h bar omega a plus a minus a plus psi twiddle plus one half h bar omega a plus psi twiddle. OK, well, now we can see that there's a common factor of a plus on the outside here. So let's just factor out a factor of a plus out of the outside. So I have h bar omega a minus a plus psi twiddle plus one half h bar omega psi twiddle. OK, well, now I see this combination h bar omega a minus a plus. Well, that's related to the Hamiltonian in this way. So I'm just going to insert that here. In particular, h bar omega a minus a plus is the Hamiltonian plus 1 half h bar omega. Or you may recall that from a different video as well. So everything inside of these parentheses is now a plus times the Hamiltonian psi twiddle plus 1 half h bar omega psi twiddle plus another 1 half h bar omega psi twiddle. But h hat psi twiddle is just the energy times psi twiddle. We said psi twiddle was already uh, a solution. So we have e twiddle psi twiddle plus h bar omega psi twiddle. Or said another way, that's just a common number e plus h bar omega times a plus psi twiddle. All right, uh, let's just summarize what we have. So we operated the Hamiltonian on our new uh, state a plus psi twiddle, and we got back that same state up to an energy of E plus h bar omega. And so this is why we have been calling A plus um, an, a raising operator, because A plus psi twiddle is a solution. It is an eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian operator with a new energy, which is larger by h bar omega. So we say A plus is a raising operator. Uh, more formally, what we mean by that, so what we mean is given any solution to the quantum harmonic oscillator, let's call that solution uh, psi twiddle, with some energy e twiddle, uh, so given any such solution, 
we can construct another solution, a plus psi twiddle, that is also a solution. Uh, now it has a different energy. In fact, it has a raised energy uh, of e twiddle plus h bar omega. So in particular, you can imagine starting with your original wave function uh, and then operating on it with a plus. Now you have a higher energy. Well, you can operate on it with a plus again. You get a plus squared psi twiddle. That raises the energy again. So you have e twiddle plus 2 h bar omega. You could do this n times. So you've raised the energy by n h bar omega. And you could keep going. OK. So that's what we mean by the raising operator. Um, you can go through a similar process, almost identical, in fact, uh, for the lowering operator, a, a minus. And so what we'll indeed find then is that uh, a minus is what we call a lowering operator. What do we mean by that? So what we mean by that is given, again, any solution to the quantum harmonic oscillator, which we'll call psi twiddle, uh, with some particular energy, e twiddle, then the combination a minus psi twiddle is also a solution to the quantum harmonic oscillator. Uh, and it has a lowered energy now of e twiddle minus h bar omega. Okay, so in particular, you could start with your original state, psi twiddle, and then operate it on with a minus. So you have a new state, which is e twiddle minus h bar omega. Uh, you could operate it twice. Uh, and so then you have e twiddle minus 2 h bar omega, and so on. You can imagine uh, lowering the energy further and further. OK, and so now we're going to use this idea to construct a ladder of states and solve the quantum harmonic oscillator.